Tell me how you feel about this. I thought we could look at bad photos of ourselves. Oh, my favorite thing. <laughs> Oh, hi everyone. Okay guys, so for today's video, Gabby and I are looking at old photos of ourselves in sort of our, uh, some might say awkward teenage years. You know, I don't know if you've heard, but as a teenager, I was a little bit overweight. And by that, I mean, yikes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty sort of well-known fact. God knows I like to draw attention to it, but yeah, I had sort of my awkward teenage years. Um, that lasted a little longer than my teenage years that are on reruns on television forever. For me, I come from a family of people that like to eat, and God bless them, because we good. But the problem is that that can sort of lead to packing on the old pounds. I know you know out there, Greg and Patricia. I, I'm, I'm just kidding, no one in my family's name is Greg or Patricia. I, I, I mean, maybe there's like a fourth cousin, and if so, good to meet you. Thanks for watching my videos, cousin. Um, but anyway, it's sort of been like this public thing for me of uh, my, I don't know, transformation? Am I allowed to say that word? I, you know, I, I was sort of like a overweight, heavy kid, and, and over the years I was able to sort of get in shape and learn sort of a healthier lifestyle, and I've been able to sort of keep it off for the last uh, 10 plus years, so yeah, good for me. So anyway, this video felt like the perfect tie-in for an app that I'm a huge fan of called Lifesome. It's a nutrition-focused app that helps you to keep track of your meals and your exercise and your water intake. And for someone like me, it's so incredibly helpful because I'm usually running around all day being chased by David Dobrik. And uh, it's hard for me to make sure that I'm taking in the proper meals and then, and then I keep track of my calorie intake as it aligns with my exercise. It's like a whole thing. But now, I don't have to think about it as much. And for me, any sort of tool that allows me to take the guesswork out of trying to be healthier is a total plus. I mean, even like, here, look, check this out, like today, I'm a big iced coffee guy, I don't know, people love hot coffee, I don't, I don't get it, I'm drinking iced coffee like in the middle of New York City in January, but that's my life. But look, like, even there, then I can see like exactly how many calories are in almond milk. For me, like, almond milk, I've grown a taste for it, at first I was like, yo, I'm never gonna like this, and now, I kinda like it, and I feel like it's healthier than dairy, and now I know the exact amount of calories that are in it, so I'm not, you know, I'm not going on milk crazy, that's nuts. And what's cool about LifeSum is that they have all these like eating plans, like ketogenic, very trendy, very in style. Not necessarily my thing, but other people really benefit from it, and that's dope. Enjoy your heavy cream boo-boo. Or they have the Mediterranean diet, which I definitely subscribe to because I've never met some shawarma or a falafel or a pita that I didn't like. So yeah, giddy up. Listen, let me tell you something about the Mediterranean diet. You get yourself some delicious, you know, well-spiced, uh, chicken kebab or I don't know like just like a, a delicious like a stuffed eggplant you ease up on them carbs on that pita and that rice and you just eat some of that with like a nice little you know like a little Shirazi salad some sliced cucumbers tomatoes onions with like a little vinaigrette baby we in health town my boy you gonna be ready for the summer and what's dope about life is that there are all these healthy eating plants because for me, I like to be able to sort of like transition because after a couple weeks, I start to feel like trapped by a certain eating plan. And it's good to know that there are variations of being able to eat healthy, but you don't have to be like locked into just keto or high protein or five to two or whatever. You'll be able to find something that works for you. And that's what I think is like super compelling about this app. I use the premium version. And for me, I find with the premium version, I'm getting like all my recipes, my meal plans, I'm tracking my calories, my, my water intake. I'm like, who is this guy? Captain Healthy over here, look at me. Trust me, this was not a long part of my life. I used to enjoy an entire pizza with a side of more pizza by myself in my room, which I do sometimes still, but less. And that's called growth. So guys, to download the LifeSum app, click the link in the description below. I hope you love it. I wanna hear how you like it. Please like shoot me comments and whatnot um, because we're in this together. You know what I mean? We're all health warriors. And I'm, I'm gonna start a health army where we like, I don't know, to like motivate you to be the best you, I 
guess it's not really an army, that's just like a group, that's a support group. I've started a support group. <laughs> Download Life Sum for free, link in description. This, I thought we could look at bad photos of ourselves. Oh, my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, for sure, let's go. <laughs> Amazing. God, Gabby, you get me. <laughs> Did you just type in fat? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite search. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Hello. Oh, me. No, you're a that. sweetheart. Like, I think I'm like 21 there. I feel like that's like what you look like right now. What, like with Jonas like Brothers? No, you hair? look like so young right now. You're you're thriving right now. Fatherhood looks so good. On you. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe it's because you know I have a kid, so it makes you feel like. I don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not you, bro. No, that's not me, but totally could have been, kind of. Wait, John Tron, if he looked like that? <laughs> <laughs> who are you, John Tron? I don't know who that is, but the fact that it says if he looks like a fat Josh Peck is everything. I hate the world. Should we look up John Tron? I actually Who's posted this. Is that she worked at Hooters. Oh, I thought that was Jojo. Oh, Jojo Siwa? No, no, no. Jojo, <laughs> like, well, but I was talking about, like, get out, leave right now. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. From Aquamarine. Is that an album? No, wasn't that like a movie with like a girl and she's like a mermaid and like she has a no, best friend? No, Jojo. Oh, you don't know who Jojo is? Okay, yes. Yeah. Is that you? Oh, yeah. That like stretched out one doesn't look like you. I think that's just like a weird... Yeah, that's me. Damn. That's a picture they use a lot of like my befores. You look like Shane here. Shane Dawson? Yeah. I know, thank you. Quite a... <laughs> I'm honored. Quite a bit. Skinny Josh Peck. First of all, you're... Not I, I was not my goal weight here, perhaps, and also I think spaceships aren't slimming. That were aren't. <laughs> it's so interesting that like you could Google skinny Josh Peck or fat Josh Peck and like completely different searches come up. Like people are uploading that with the keywords mm. Josh Peck fat. How does that make you feel? Fine. I mean, I have to remember that it's very much like a part of my story, and yeah. yet I need to like be able to walk away from it, but somehow I can't. Mm -hmm. Which I guess we all are that way to a certain extent. Yeah. But yeah, it is what it is. I yeah. mean, I think because I was just very overweight. Does it still affect you? No, I can like tie my shoes now, I can run. That's <laughs> so yeah. But like, do you look back on that and like feel bad about it, or you're just like, oh, I'm hot as f now, so like, whatever? <laughs> you know what I definitely mean? don't think I'm hot as f. Now, I think that like, I feel, I feel like I wish I could have told that kid to like take it easy on himself. Mm. It's all gonna work out. Right. So it's like more so you look at it and you like remember how you were feeling at that time and it's like, damn, it wasn't very nice. Yeah, like at 21 I really hated that kid and now at 32 I really love him. Yeah, I think everybody really loves him. I remember this photo and me remembering, thinking at 16 this was taken at the Sundance Film Festival and thinking in my head, my mom likes when I smile, I better smile in this. What a fun memory to have. Like, like, that's so sweet. And this is the photo that they used to like document that I was once pleasantly plump. Wow. Like, I, was, like, I remember this photo that I took with my best friend and thinking like, wow, my waist goes in. Like I'm able to wear a tucked yeah. in shirt. Like there were all these like weird milestones. Like yeah. I can wear a tucked in shirt and not feel like a house. I feel like I understand that feeling too because I sometimes I'll look at Oh, I would never show my upper abdomen before. So, really? Like, yeah, for sure. Like, I get that feeling. Like, I feel like anybody that was chubby at one point will look at their, like, current pictures or, like, when they do it and be like, oh my god, I can't believe I just posted a picture in a bikini. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I Yeah, I would never. And you post in a bikini. I do. When you went to Greece? Yes, I did. Yeah, you had to post <laughs> You were letting it live. My body was living its best life right then because I was weight training, but also cardioing. So I was like really muscular, but then I ate a lot. Mm -hmm. So I gained a lot of weight that just like went to my ass. So, and then it started going to my stomach too. But in that moment, that was when I was at my prime. I know. I know, I know how that feels. Yeah. I look at pictures even from this past summer and I was like, holy shit so skinny this summer and I don't look like that anymore but like I'm I love my body for the first time in my life like this whole year so even when I'm a little bit thicker like right I'm a little bit thicker mm. I still like like my shape and I'm still really strong and I know if I want my body back I can have it back in two weeks so it's a good place to be that's huge yeah it's massive like for like mentally it's massive and you're muscular so it's like it kind of like sits in a good way it looks better right for sure like my stomach is definitely has like a lot of grab to it but like it's still shaped the way I want it to be, so. We got that shit. 
We got that sh I remember my wife the other day took a, she bought a new camera and I was like showering and I was drying off and I was naked in my bathroom and she just like took a sneak photo of me from behind and like I'm just walking and I was like, let me see, let me see! <laughs> like, I was like, don't leave that, but let me see. And, <laughs> and I like looked at it and like, if here's my body, like legs, yeah, trees, just trunks rooted. Mm -hmm. And then like upper body, back, damn! Like, do you sometimes compete? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, lower back love handle area? Nah. Really? Yeah. But you know what? I was like, if I can just say nah about, like, one yeah. or two spots, that's pretty damn good for and me. And everybody's always going to say nah about one or two spots, right? Yes. Of oh, Gabby Hanna Monster, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised already, more memes going to pop up at that. You've already talked about that, though. I have. Also, <laughs> I'm surprised more memes aren't coming up with that search though. Like, why is that up? But by the way, how, why do your arms look so good? Wait, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> you mother focusing on the wrong thing. Yo, I want to get tan again real quick because that like really changes your like whole sh I go to yeah. tanning beds. I'm not proud of it. Look at this, Gabby. I miss dark hair. This yellow is kind of doing weird things for me, I feel like. This is such a, I just, I feel like I grew up with this Gabby. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> hey, I feel like we would have to get into my Facebook if we want to see some truly ugly photos of myself. This is cute. Yeah, okay. Sure, <laughs> okay. But again, like, I feel like I know this girl. Yeah. Like, Did I change too much, you think? This is a girl, like, on Saturday night, like, you and I didn't get invited to the party, so we, like, played board games, watched Real World, and ordered dominoes. And that's not a bad thing. That's hot. I love that. That's not a bad night. That's like, wait, why? Why am I on here? Oh, he gave me a shout out. Never mind. I thought it was gonna be bad. That's an ugly picture, Josh. That's that's just you. Just about as ugly as you can be. Who is that? That's me, bro. Look at look when? at like the face. Like that's not even my face. No, that's a different person. That's a different person. That's not you. Yes, it is. Like look at like my teeth were f my lips were chapped. Like my nose was fat. Like <laughs> literally, doesn't my nose look fat? Oh man! Look at my eyebrows. Like they should be here, mm. but they're here. Didn't know how to do my makeup, but definitely put some type of white eyeshadow on my lids. That's all right. That's called a highlight. I've always been emo. This is tragic. This was my best look. Like this is a bad photo, obviously, but like that short ass blonde hair, my tan ass skin. I gotta go tanning. Right? I'm telling you, I get depressed. I feel like seasonal depression comes from just not being as hot as you were in the summer, and that's it. I've said that. Because like you just look so good. I literally have sat in therapy. I was like, listen, I think I have seasonal affective disorder. Mm. Because when I look back at the happiest, best times of my life, I'm tan as hell. Right. And then when I'm pale and have pimples, I'm depressed. So am I depressed because I'm pale and I have pimples? Yeah. I'm not trying to live to 100. If I could be 60 <laughs> and tan. Who made this merch? What? Please tell me at least one person bought that shirt. Should we get into some like real ugly shit? Hold on, let me buckle up. <laughs> We're gonna go to my drunk college party photos that are now. Do the one with the Smirnoff bottle, Gabby. That's obvious. Yeah, but I look kind of like low key cute there. I'm trying to find the ones <laughs> where I'm like ugly. Like, this is an ugly. Ooh, this is so East Coast. Like, I feel like your name should be like Rachel. Or Dude, like Jenna. Right? Like, your name should be Jenna and you should be from Long Island. Oh, the swoop. It's so the natty eyes. The swoop was real as hell. And then also look at my eyebrows. Ew, what am I putting in my mouth? Oh, it's a little plastic rat. Let me see. Good for me. What you push the boundaries no matter what, and I uh, love. <laughs> you know what's funny is I like don't know the Damn. majority of these girls. That's my best friend Taylor though. Hey Taylor. When I went to college, I was so determined to be the bitch that was like I party so hard and I don't give a. Fuck. Like I was that girl. I was trying so hard i didn't know who i was i didn't know who i was trying to be but she was the worst person on the planet <laughs> i love her no she's awful like all these like random like who are you eminem i don't know who that is like pittsburgh's version of mario lopez it's just so tragic because like think about like how random these pictures are is this picture you trying to prove that you own a cell phone <laughs> No, I think I was actually on the phone when she took that. I picture. have money. I hate at that <laughs> point. I was I didn't have a cell phone until look at this type of bracelet. No, um, is that like one of those Christian bracelets? Oh, it's that, but it has skulls. Please look at it. Is that Taylor? I have to send that to her right now. Jesus Christ. Yo, she's been we've been through everything together. I love that girl. I don't care, but I think the people would wonder if it ever like 
these pictures ever resulted in a girl on girl kiss. Yo, <laughs> well, people like really think we're gay for real. If you marry her, can I officiate your wedding? Oh, a hundred percent. It's a good story. Can a Jewish guy officiate like a Christian wedding? Oh, yeah. I guess it doesn't have to be a Christian wedding. You like, want to do a Christian style? We'll do a Christian style. Let's do it, man. Yeah, we're all color. It's just so sad because when you think about all those pictures with, those, with all those random people, that was literally because I was like, oh my God, look at how many friends I have. Like, that's what I was trying to do is like, look how cool I am and I'm, I'm at a party. Look at all these people I know. So what's the moral of the story for this video, guys? Obviously, it's it. You could be a chubby, you know, uh, child star butterfly or an emo haired, I take picture with random dudes at college butterfly, but <laughs> caterpillar. <laughs> Listen, we could all be <laughs> great. Follow <laughs> Gabby. <laughs>